What up, y'all? So about 30 minutes ago, I started working on this project here. This is actually going to be an Android app. If I can pull it up real quick here. All right, so this is what I have so far. All right, I'm not going to go into details about this app. What I want to do right now is to add a floating button, which is going to be a round button, probably right here or here. I don't know, but a floating button nevertheless. So I thought this might be something you guys might be interested in. So let's go ahead and try to add this floating button. All right. Of course, we are going to be cheating a little, but if it works, it works. All right. So let's go up here and I'll try to add this with as, f as few code as possible. I'll call this one a float. Copy the letter A float and I'll just say a float button. Right, and the float button is going to inherit from the float layer. Okay. And yeah, that will be all. So I'll give this an ID and I'll say float underscore root. And then maybe a size hint. So a size hint and I'll give this none. And none. And then to get button attributes here okay so obviously we need text for this so i will call this one maybe i'll just call it text all right and text by default is going to be nothing and then i'm going to need a button size the button size is going to be by default 70 70 all right and then let's see what else yeah, I'd say so far this is looking great. The size now. So the size is going to be, I'll give this 7070 70 again. All right, just like that. So button size is going to be that. Yep. All right, so that checks out. Now that that is done, I'll go ahead and say canvas. Actually, let me just create the button. All right. And I'll give this a text. And the text of this button is going to be the text of the float root. So float root dot text. And then I want to enable markup because I want to use icons for this. And the size hint for this is going to be none. And none, of course. And then the actual size is going to be float root dot button size. All right. So, so far, I think this is looking pretty great. All right. Now to add the positioning now. So what I'll do is I'll say size hint. Actually, I want position hint, not size hint. So I'll position hint this and for X, I will start with, let me start with 0.8. And then for Y, for Y, I will go with about 0.1. All right. We'll change this later, but yep, that should be good. Now I'll say canvas dot before for this button. And I want to add a color here. And the RGBA value for this color. I am actually going to use the same color, which is this one. So I'll just copy this. And yep, I'm going to need a property for color for the button. All right. So that's that. Actually, what I'll do is I'll copy this. All right. Because I want the color to be changeable. I'll go up here and I'll call this one BG underscore color and set it to by default that color. All right. And the RGBA for this is going to be float root dot BG color. Okay. Just like that. And now I can add my rectangle. Actually, I want this to be round. So again, I don't need a rectangle. I am going to use an ellipse for this. All right, and I'll say self dude the size 
is equal to self dot size and of course the position is going to be self dot position and that should do it what i need to do next is to make sure this is actually visible i'll override the colors so the first one background normal i'll set it to nothing and then the background color i will set this to zero 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 and zero opacity all right so that the color is not visible by default control f to save this and i think for now this should be great all right i'll add a, uh, a position hint here all right just to position things correctly and i'll add an x and for x i would like about let's see about 0.5 yeah and here let me just reduce this first all right and we'll increase it later if we have to so let's try this out we need the text and we have the text right there put button all right so i am going to add it right here and just to make sure yep right there so i'll add a float button right here and i'll give this the text and the text is going to be equal to and for this one i'll just add an icon and i actually want to add the github icon all right and give this icon about 32 all right so yep that should be it let's try this out and see what we get hopefully no errors all right so so far looking great we have a floating button right there all right so now i have to change the x to shift it so i'll just close this out go back to my float button right here i'll change maybe this maybe 0.8 was okay all right now I'll run this again and yep looking good looking good indeed so i'll just change this to about seven check it again and this time it's too far so i'll change it to six All right, run this again and there you have it all right so floating button right there but now we have some redundant space right here i'm going to take care of this later but for now i want to animate this all right so that it sort of breathes so what i'll do is i'll go back to before i actually even do that let's see i'll give this an id all right so that i can access it later i'll give this an id and i'll give this a id of cta all right and then in my main window right here i am actually going to create a new function and i'll just call this one breathe and it's going to take self and delta and since it's going to be delta here i am going to need the clock so i'll say from kv dot clock and i'll import the clock class all right then since i want to animate this i'm also going to need animations so from kv dot animation we want to import the animation class all right now let me try to animate this so what i'll do is i'll just say anim is equal to animation and what i want to animate is what did i call it the size is going to be button size yep button size so i want to animate button underscore size and i want to animate this to 16 60 all right just like that and the transition i want to use is let me see i am going to use um let's see 
maybe t underscore quad maybe quad yeah maybe quad should do for this one anyway i'll add a duration of about 0.5 and then add another animation all right after that one is done and change the button size back to 70 by 70 and the transition again i'm going to use the same transition which is the quad finally the duration is going to be 0.5 again all right now what i'll do is i will say target is equal to self dot ids dot what did we call it i forgot cta right cta and then i'll say anim dot start and this is going to start on our target Control us to save this now that that we have all of that now we need to schedule it on our clock so down here i'll say clock dot schedule schedule underscore interval and i want to schedule breathe every second control us to save spawn this see what we get and we have an error yep this is supposed to be self dot breathe all right control us to save and now let's run this one more time and again program pipe right here let's see yep looks like i am going to have to pause this one all right so be right back all right so i'm back the problem here was a typo with our transition here it's not supposed to be t underscore quad it's in underscore quad all right i know i didn't see that but you know that's that so now let's try to run this again all right so as you can see now we have that breathing button right there all right it's floating so i'd say objective complete anyway that's it for this one we are done for this one Check out the Kiwi course in the link in the description. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Thanks for the subscriptions. If you haven't subscribed already, check it out. And I'll see you in the next one.